Hi everyone, it's Miss Irisha, an English teacher at Little But Mighty. In our previous video, we taught you how to use personification to make your story come alive. Did you enjoy that video? We certainly hope you did! Today, we are going to be teaching you how to use hyperbole to help your readers understand the full extent of what your characters are feeling. This will also help to make your writing more impactful and memorable. Let's just dive right into it. First, what exactly is hyperbole? Let's have a look at some of these statements. If I don't reach school on time, I'm dead. Your smile could light up the whole town. And lastly, I've been waiting a billion years for you to show up. Can you guess what all these statements have in common? If you guess that they're all exaggerations, you're absolutely right. If you don't reach school on time, you're not actually going to die. A smile can't possibly light the whole town up, and by the time a billion years have passed, I really don't think any of us would be around anymore. These statements are all examples of hyperboles. A hyperbole is an exaggerated figure of speech. Figures of speech are not meant to be taken literally. Instead, they are meant to emphasize the intensity of a situation or the intensity of the emotions that your characters are feeling. You can use hyperboles to help your readers understand your characters more or to make your writing more impactful. When you get more and more skilled at using hyperboles, you can even use them to inject humor into your writing. All of the above will make your composition more memorable and enjoyable to read. So, how do you use hyperboles? Here are three simple steps you can use to craft your very own hyperbole. Number one, identify something that you feel really strongly about. Secondly, consider what exactly it is that you want to emphasize. Thirdly, let your creative juices flow and come up with an out-of-this-world comparison to tell us just how impactful this something is. Do you realize that I used the phrase out of this world as a hyperbole to emphasize just how creative you can be? In this first example, let's try to use hyperbole to describe a character. Why don't we use Finn from Adventure Time as our character? Do you know how Finn looks like? If you don't, not to worry. We'll flash an image of Finn on screen here so that you know exactly who we're talking about. Here we go! Step 1. Let's identify something we feel really strongly about regarding Finn. Step 2. I think I would want to emphasize how thin his arms are and how long his legs are. Step 3. Now, let's see. What is something I can compare Finn's arms and legs to? Ah, I've got it. How about using toothpicks as a comparison for his thin arms? Hmm, and perhaps we can say legs that go on for days? Days can be considered a very long time, right? So instead of saying that Finn has thin arms and long legs, I can say that Finn has arms that are thinner than toothpicks and legs that stretch on for days. Immediately, my reader knows that Finn is not just normal skinny. No, his limbs are extra skinny and his legs are extra long. This will certainly help Finn make an impression on the reader's mind, thus crafting him into an unforgettable character. For our second example, let's see how we can use hyperbole to describe situations. Christmas is coming up, isn't it? What if your parents have promised you the latest PlayStation 5, but you'll only receive it on Christmas Day itself? What would you be feeling in this situation? Let's return to our three steps. Something that you're probably feeling strongly about in this situation is that you want Christmas to come now. Therefore, the emotion that you want to emphasize is impatience. I don't know about you, but if I wanted something very badly and it was only coming more than a month from now, I'd kill for Christmas to come soon. I was kidding, okay? I wouldn't actually kill, but that's a hyperbole for you. I've exaggerated my impatience so much that now you know exactly how impatient I am and how desperate I am for the PS5 to come. Aside from the example that I just gave you, what are some other exaggerations you can use to emphasize just how impatient you are? You could say, Christmas was taking forever to come. The days seem to pass like years. By the time Christmas comes, my hair would have turned white. So, instead of saying I was so impatient, you can use any of the above hyperboles to make your writing more impactful. 
This will help your readers understand the full extent of your impatience and also bring a smile to your reader's face. Didn't the example on your hair turning white bring a smile to yours? While it may be fun conjuring your own hyperboles to use in your compositions, do note that they should not be overused. Hyperboles should be sprinkled at appropriate intervals in your composition. They can be used with other figurative language such as personification, metaphors, and similes. This will ensure that your writing does not sound repetitive and predictable. Above all, a strong plot that links to the topic and to the pictures is still paramount in ensuring that you score well for your composition. However, if you're looking for tips and tricks to level up your writing, this is definitely one trick you've got to learn. It will certainly skyrocket your writing skills and you'll never worry about writing for as long as you live. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video. If you do have a favourite hyperbole, share them in the comment section below and help your fellow budding writers out. Till next time! If you've been enjoying our content, do remember to like and subscribe.